Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting video lined up for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. Guys, in this video we will be learning dictionary in Python. Dictionaries are Python's implementation of a data structure that is more generally known as an associative array. A dictionary consists of a collection of key value pairs. Each key value pairs maps the key to its associated data. You can define a dictionary by enclosing a comma separated list of key value pairs in curly braces like curly braces and a colon separates each key from its associated value or data so let's see how to create a dictionary let me take dictionary one curly braces employee name this could be a property name or keys name Raj we can have other property okay H so this is the way how we can create a dictionary let's print dictionary let's run the program dictionary is printed we can define a dictionary with other way like let's say we may have one more property department that could consist multiple items in a list okay this is another way of creating dictionaries let's print We can also create a empty dictionary. How to do that? Empty dictionary. Let's take one variable. This is empty. Let's print it. Even get the type. Let's run the program. You see empty dictionary was printed and this is the type of class dict how we can access the dictionary's values the keys of dictionary can be used to obtain the values because they are unique from one another always key is used to get the values of dictionary how to do it we have already a one dictionary we will try to get its value then what we can say dix one we want to get employee name we then say employee name as a key we want its value then we will print Okay, this is a way we can get the values from key. Let's run. Raj is printed. Got it. Now we can see adding dictionaries values. Okay, the dictionary is a mutable data type and 
यूटिलाइजिंग द राइट की अलाउ यू टू चेंज इट्स वैल्यू ओके एंड द वैल्यू कैन बोथ बी मोडिफाइड एन एग्जिस्टिंग वैल्यू कैन ऑल्सो बी अपडेटेड यूजिंग द अपडेट मैथड लेट सी फर्स्ट हाउ वी कैन अपडेट द डेटा ओके लेट्स टेक ए एम टी डिक्शनरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन एम टी डिक्शनरी ही है ओके देर इज नथिंग वी कैन यूज दिस वेरिएबल सो वी कैन से द एम टी डिक्शनरी लेट्स ए जीरो इक्वल्स टू अगेन वी आर से नेम वी कैन सेन देन ईमेल ओके देन वी कैन सो वट वी आर डूइंग हियर सो वी आर डूइंग वी आर टेकिंग जीरो एंड वन एज ए की ओके एंड वी आर we have to set its name like raj email raj at gmail dot com or in the third me in the second key we can take let's say it could be considered as a Age, so we can say thirty, forty, sixty, or we can say IT purchase. Well, let's try to print empty dictionary again it's on the program if you find you see zero raj on first we have email second we have departments okay this is called a key this is called a value we can have another example of dictionary we have to take input from user and then create a dictionary let's see we take dictionary 3 this is empty dictionary let's print dictionary 3 then we will be taking inputs how let's take we want again employee name we have to take input from user from console so we say employee name we have to say input we have to say name enter name so on console the cursor will prompt and user has to provide input as a name same we can take age this we have to cast because we will be taking integer as a age and then we will print the dictionary okay let's run the program so you see it is asking for name let me take dinesh then it is asking for age i am saying it is 50 then it printed the dictionary created at the run time so it is called run time we are providing the input from console and dictionary is created
now let's see how we can delete elements from dictionary using del keyword okay let's see we have already taken this dictionary 3 where we have to provide inputs and then we will be removing a one key from its dictionary okay so to delete we have to use del then dictionary 3 will be removing employee name okay dictionary with input after deleting okay let's end the program it is asking for input this time I'm saying Mahesh age 45 you see before deleting the key from dictionary the output was employee name and employee age after deleting employee name from dictionary key then dictionary is printed like employee age another feature we have on dictionary is deleting element using pop method a dictionary is a group of key values pair in python you can retrieve insert and remove items using this unordered mutable data type by using their keys the pop method is one of the way to get rid of elements from a dictionary the value connected to a specific key in a dictionary is removed using the pop method okay so method name is pop this is a function before removing key okay let's print first okay now what we want we will be using pop function so dictionary one dot pop if you see the function it is expecting the key okay we have to provide a key name here to remove from the dictionary so we can provide employee name okay we want to remove it then we will try we will try to after removing key let's send the program you see after removing key from dictionary only age is there now we'll see how we can iterate dictionary a dictionary can be iterated using for loop okay so how to iterate we can take dictionary 2 okay dictionary 2 first we will print dictionary 2 So same statement we will print let's run so this is our dictionary we have to iterate it to iterate it we have to use for x in dictionary 2 then print x okay just run the program you see this is employee name age in department keys are retrieved we want to retrieve values as well then we can take y anything you can take here okay there is no limitation any name which you want you can take then we can use its method items okay let's run you see now values are printed along with key names okay 
दिस मैथड वी हैव टू यूज टू गेट बोथ थिंग्स टूगेदर कीज एंड वैल्यूज ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द कीज ओनली देन यू कैन फाइंड कीज दैट वे सो दिस आर द कीज ओनली इफ यू वॉन्ट वैल्यूज ऑल वैल्यूज टूगेदर देन यू कैन गेट वैल्यूज यू सी If you want both things, then you have to use items x, y. Then you can print x and y. Let's see. Okay, so both things are printed. Let's see some built-in dictionary functions. Built-in dictionary functions means these functions. Okay. You see on the dictionary when we type in dot, so you could see so many methods over there. Let's see built-in dictionary functions. What are those? The first function is len function. We can get the length of dictionary. Let's say print len dictionary two. Let's run. so the length of the dictionary is 3 there are three key values so we are getting 3 as a output next function is any the any function returns true indeed did if one dictionary key does have a boolean expression that evaluates to true it means we have dictionary say 4 we have true we have false we will say print any any we can say dictionary 4 it will print true let's run again it will print true because there is one value in this dictionary that is true okay let me take this true as a false then try to print so it is false then so one condition is checked okay second if we have empty dictionary it will return a false value let's see dictionary 5 we have empty dictionary then we will be printing dictionary with the help of any 5 Let's say any with empty. Let's send the program. So it will return false because there is an item. Let's say we have some items, key values. Let's say name. Then we have value. Raj. It will now return. True, because there are some items. You see. Now let's see sorted function. How we can use? We have to take one dictionary, dictionary six. We can take two. raj 1 mahesh three rohan okay let's try to use sorted function so 
we'll be printing first sorted so let's run it dictionary 6 first we will print dictionary first then we'll be using sorted so we can say without sorted then we will apply sorted okay dictionary 6 then we will try to print sorted okay before sorted and after sorted let's run the program you see we have retrieved sorted dictionary keys okay next function we have copy okay it will copy the same dictionary to the other one let me take dictionary 7 and then say dictionary 6 dot copy okay then we will print dictionary dictionary 7 okay let me take dictionary 7 as a blank okay right let's run the program you see the same dictionary is copied to the new one right this was our dictionary 6 then we have get the new copy of this dictionary 6 to the dictionary 7 okay copy next function we have clear we can clear out this dictionary 7 it will wipe out all the keys and values from the dictionary we can say before clearing dictionary 7 we can say after clearing let's run before clearing the dictionary or saving keys and values after clearing we have nothing now another function we have pop item let's see how it will work we have already dictionary 6 with us okay this is dictionary 6 so we can use this one what pop item will do pop item will remove the most recent key value pair entered right so we can say initial dictionary 6 we can print that's run this is our initial dictionary okay and then we have to pop item okay then dictionary 6 dot pop item you see here are two functions then we can say after using pop item dictionary 6 let's run you see the most recent 
की वैल्यू पेयर इज रिमूव्ड ओके राइट सो ओनली टू राज वन इज महेश रोहन इज रिमूव्ड लेट सी गेट फंक्शन ओके वी कैन गेट एनी स्पेसिफिक की वैल्यूज by using get method so how to do it let's say we have dictionary 6 this one i want to get let's say second item okay value from key as a 2 then we will print dictionary we have to take this statement as a print it will return us let's see so it printed raj okay because on the key of 2 is raj let's see now update method this is the one will be using it mainly updates all the dictionary by adding the key value pair of the dictionary okay let's see how it will work let me take dictionary 8 then same as name raj age 60 print dictionary 8 so this is printed let's see how update works i want this raj to be updated with some other name on this key name right so how to do it so i have to use the variable name of my dictionary dot update you see we can update then we can say on name i want other names to be updated okay so i would say zero not that way even not that way how what is the problem okay yeah this is the notation okay so let's run the dictionary again after updating okay let's run you see before updating it was raj after updating it becomes now kishor on this key got it that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video